Well, Halifax has one and so does Chelsea, but Canada's capital does not. Reaching a compromise on a pesticide bylaw was an impossible compromise for this city council. Still, as Diane Duthie reports, the fight over spraying weeds may be dead, but it sure isn't buried. You can tell from the signs on his lawn that Manuel Costa is against pesticide spraying. He's disappointed at last night's vote. In my view, it's an incompetent council, it's a dysfunctional council, that not having been able to do something as easy as some chicken soup. Councillor Alex Cullen is also against pesticides. He's looking over the list of who voted for what last night. Councillors killed the bylaw by a vote of 12 to 9. Uh, we had an opportunity to put a bylaw in place. There was clearly a majority of council uh, that wanted some form of a bylaw, and I'm just disappointed that we couldn't find the wording to accommodate a uh, full majority of council. To spray or not to spray, the debate has been going on since 1999. Well, I don't think that you can uh, be telling other people what to do if you don't have your own house in order. So the first step is for the City of Ottawa to have a clear, comprehensive policy that makes us publicly accountable for our use of insecticides, herbicides and pesticides. Why does the provincial government... Since then, the debate has grown involving politicians, doctors, private citizens, even lawn care companies. We want to have a bylaw so that there's a clear understanding of what the city is expecting on the, on the pesticide reduction strategy. In the end, a future city council will probably look at this issue again. This would be a matter of debate, uh, a significant debate throughout 2006 in the election campaign. Uh, and I believe that. Uh, I indicated that my personal position would be to continue to support a significant reduction by law because I believe it is a health issue. Shirelli says that the earliest a pesticide bylaw could come into effect would be in 2008 or 2009. And nine, after a new council debates it yet again. Diane Duthie, CBC News, Ottawa.